guys, how's it going? My name is Emma and this is Emma's Cozy Place. If you've never been here before, welcome. And if you have been here, welcome back. So in today's video, I am doing something a little bit different. I am going to be making some tiramisu. If you don't know, tiramisu is an Italian dessert. It's a really easy recipe. It's composed of a soft, sweet cheese, lady fingers, and espresso, as well as some chocolate or cocoa powder, depending on what recipe you're following. Now, I am lactose intolerant and possibly casein intolerant. So I am not going to be using, I think it's called mas mas mascarpone. I'm used to saying it in French, mascarpone, cheese. I'm not gonna be using that because, well, for obvious reasons. I'd rather not be sick tonight. Also, this is for my boyfriend, it's his birthday today. So this is gonna be his like birthday cake but it's more like a birthday dessert because it's not really a cake. So this is gonna be a quick one because it is currently 3.20 and dinner is at 5.30 or 6 o'clock. Having like an entirely Italian themed dinner tonight. It's my job to bring dessert. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I have the list of ingredients and I've taken out a few of them here. So I'm just gonna read out the ingredients. I'm using the recipe from vibrantlygfree.com. I'm using Savoyardi. It's hard reading this upside down and in Italian. Gioia. So I'm actually going to be using coconut cream. Not the, not the liquid part, the cream. We're going to need six egg yolks, quarter cup of sugar, one and a half cans coconut cream, solid cream only, a half teaspoon vanilla extract, two cups strong espresso, cooled, divided, four teaspoons dark rum. I unfortunately don't have any dark rum, so I'm just gonna omit it completely. I feel like it would ruin it if I used a different kind of liqueur. So yeah, not, not using dark rum, I wish. And then 24 packaged lady fingers, about 200 grams, as well as a quarter, a half cup, dark chocolate shavings. And I'm guessing this is gonna be done in a nine by 13 pan, so I'm gonna take one of those out. Never mind, I'm gonna wash one. <laughs> okay, we're good. This one was already rinsed, so we're good. I'm actually gonna check to see if it is a nine by 13, just to confirm. A large bowl. Oh, oh, it's an eight by eight inch baking dish, so I'm actually, I don't even know this. I mean, it's good that it's clean, but I apparently only needed an eight by eight dish, so. Where did I put it? This is my eight by eight. So we're gonna do that in there instead. And I think the first step for me actually would not be to use the coconut milk. I had this in the fridge earlier. I think I'm gonna just put it back because it's best to use coconut milk solids when you're trying to make a cream. If you didn't know, coconut cream does actually like melt at room temperature, kind of like coconut oil does. So if you're trying to make a cream-based dessert dairy-free and you're using coconut milk, it's actually best to refrigerate either overnight or a few hours before you're about to do it, especially for whipping cream. I'm sure it's less, less of a structural component in this dessert because it's just a layered dessert. But yeah, I'm just gonna put them back in the fridge. That was a long-winded <laughs> discussion about why I'm putting them back in the fridge. But I am gonna make the espresso first. Now, I'm really sorry to say to all the Italian people that are watching this that I'm using instant coffee. I don't have a way to make an espresso. I don't have an espresso machine. I have a French press, but that's like not really close to espresso. So this is the best we got, guys. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I am gonna keep my eggs at room temp though because it's best to use eggs for the most part when they're room temperature. Now you may be asking yourself like, okay, you're telling me all this stuff about egg yolks and coconut cream, but like what authority do you have to talk on this? And while I won't say I'm a professional in any sense, I did go to baking school for a year and I was a baker for two years. So I do know like a little bit about things and this is like slowly, becoming a passion of mine again. I kind of fell out with it. My friendship with baking was kind of rocky because the baking industry is extremely, not cutthroat like the cooking industry is, but extremely difficult for your body specifically. And it's very much the same thing all the time. Obviously there's innovation, but that's more the higher ups that get to play around with that kind of stuff. So my relationship with baking has been a little bit rocky over the last few years. I'm slowly starting to gain that passion back. I've always loved to bake. So while you don't need to trust my sources about the coconut milk, I do have experience with coconut milk specifically. Eggs, you just kind of hear that like around. Grandmas will tell you that your eggs should be room temperature if you read any recipe. 
um, a baking recipe specifically like to do with cakes and things they want your eggs to be room temperature because it helps it emulsify a little bit better so anyway so I'm just gonna I put the kettle on and I'm not gonna film this next section because the kettle gets quite loud and from experience with another couple YouTube videos I've done it's not great scenes to have where the audio is just like so I'm just gonna like skip to the next part I'll let you know what I've done but yeah right now I'm doing the espresso so I've got my ex oh my god I almost said espresso okay listen I have this sweater that says espresso patronum which is I think why my brain messes up so much but I know it's like so offensive to say espresso <laughs> espresso so I've got my espresso ready next part I am going to start the coconut milk so I'm gonna take out my KitchenAid and I think I'm really just making like a custard and like whipping it up so I'm gonna take this bad boy out so I am also going to use you know that pan I cleaned earlier I am going to use that uh, because I want to cool my coffee quickly I don't exactly have a lot of time it's 3 30 already and I need to leave at 5 and this needs to chill for a while so I'm going to use this deep pan this wide pan I'm gonna pour my espresso on it and I'm gonna go put it in my deep freezer so that it cools really quickly I hope it works next it says to whip up these egg yolks so that's what I'm gonna do and it says to do that for five minutes I just realized it said whip the sugar into. Read the recipe, Emma. Read the recipe. <sighs> All right, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news, my sugar and egg mixture ended up perfect. It is exactly the right consistency. It said it would turn light yellow and that's what it did. Now, the bad news is I refrigerated this, okay, a few hours ago. And this is how much solids there are in here. This is like not even close to what I need. So I went upstairs. My mom did have this frozen coconut cream from yesterday, literally yesterday, but it's frozen. And then she also did have two cans of coconut cream that, or coconut milk rather, that feel like they have solids in it. This does not sound like it has solids in it. Hopefully I have enough. This is like literally the opposite of what I needed. Okay, crisis averted. It turned out that I had one can of coconut and when you flip it it makes a sound of like a solid dropping into the liquid like it kind of switches places so i tested that and it worked and one of my mom's cans as well had the right consistency so this is what i have um it's very very thick so like there's a bit of liquid in there because it's really hard to filter it out if it's not perfectly solid but one of my cans was perfectly solid and i'm so happy i only have about one and a half cups so i am defrosting like auto defrosting the frozen coconut cream that my mom had i'm gonna see if that's enough but it probably will be so i'm just gonna do that you can hear this can that is not solid. So it is fairly easy to see if the coconut milk will be solid or not. I opened that first can because I was like, oh, please, please be solid. But you can't, you can't fake with this stuff. You can't do a recipe just because you wish it that way with solid. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go check the deep freezer for my espresso. It's probably cool by now. It's been about half an hour. So I'm gonna get that and then I'm gonna add it to the recipe. Boy, I'm really on fire today. I accidentally microwaved it a little bit too much. So I'm gonna use that in a different recipe that does not call for solids. And instead I'm just going to use this teeny tiny little can of coconut milk that I have. So I'm just gonna show you an example of what the cream should look like. This is, this is pretty good. So it's not ideal. This is just two and three quarter cups instead, but we're gonna make do with what we've got. And I am also running out of time. So I have no, I, I have no other option at the moment. So back to the recipe, it says to add the coconut cream. So I'm gonna do that. Nice. And then I need to add some vanilla. And I also need to add one tablespoon of the espresso. I'm also just gonna put my pan in the freezer so that when I add it in, the mixture I mean, it'll be much quicker for it to chill in the pan because it won't have to chill the pan too. Alrighty. These are so good. I don't know if I should feel good about the fact that I've eaten like eight of these. So now comes the fun part. Now it's time to layer everything. So the one time that I've ever made tiramisu was like in the eighth grade and 
I really do remember how it works. It's really just you, you dip these in coffee in your espresso and you layer the like cheese or in our case coconut mix between and at the time we did use cocoa powder i don't know if this recipe calls for it funny enough but it does call for chocolate shavings so that's what we're gonna do Alrighty, so it is now 4.33 and now that my kitchen is looking like an absolute mess, let me just show you the coconut milk situation. <laughs> Ta-da! All of those coconuts over there are the uh, victims of the tragedy that was no coconut cream, so. So now in the instructions it says to saran wrap everything and the dark chocolate that I got is just going to be sh like shaved ahead of time and it's just to chill it for two hours and serve by sprinkling this on top. So I'm just going to saran wrap. I'm going to put it in the deep freezer so that hopefully it chills a bit in the half hour I have before I have to leave. I'm going to get ready to go to my boyfriend's. I really hope I enjoy it. I think I do. I think I will, I mean. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like and let me know if you would like to see me bake more things, if you would like me to challenge myself by making something I've never made before. I did have a falling out with baking for a while, but I've never had a falling out with dessert. Subscribe! I mostly do crochet content on this channel, but I I am a multifaceted person, so I will have lots of different things on here. I'm just waving this chocolate bar around. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I really have to go. <laughs> I will see you later for the final result. Lawyers. The dessert was great. I ended up bringing my sweater and because the fans are on, it's really, really hot today. It's like 25 degrees, but because the fans are on, I'm actually able to wear it. And if you saw my last videos, you'll know that I just finished making this because I'm a pro crochet artist before anything. And I'm so happy with it. It's so comfy.